Hey guys, welcome back. It is Monday about four o'clock and I am going to my favorite honey hole Goodwill because it is 75% off today on certain colors. And usually there's some things that happen from the weekend on people that had sales and they just drop off whatever's left at the Goodwill. So let's see what happens. Here we go. So I'm behind the registers looking on the racks and I see these. These are for $14.99. Harley Davidson. Authentic tag and if you look at the number, you usually can see on the number 81676. So they are used, but they're still in pretty good shape. Looks like I'll get 45 pounds. Show you the palm. Same show. This is uh, it's falling apart. Never mind. A couple more items that I found. It's pretty cheap. It's only three dollars, but somebody that wants it in their room. Big, uh, Big Bang Theory type situation. I figure for three bucks, why not? This is pretty freaking heavy. It's like a old vintage boot and it's like a solid brass and they're only asking 99 cents so i don't think i can go wrong with that i don't know I'll put it in my booth or something for like 10 bucks and sit on it scanning through the electronics vcrs combos any name brands like this they have it priced up but look at it, you can see kind of some wear on the sides. And it doesn't look too good. Sonos, that's a good brand for y'all to know. If y'all see this, they command a pretty good dollar amount. Like, I'm not sure I'll buy that, but I will look up the model number and I'll show y'all the comps on this one. So yeah, the comps are there, but not only does it look like it's been treated pretty freaking bad, so there's no guarantee. I can't test it or anything like that. Um, here's your power cord. There's your wireless. As is 59. If, I, if it was a blue day at half off or whatever, I would take the plunge. But for 60 bucks, no. Anytime I see something brand new sealed, I'll always take a look to see what it's all about. Scan the barcode. It looks like it's something video game related. I have no freaking clue. But sure enough, I scan it. Looks like it's about a $30 seller. So for five bucks into 30, I will take it. So I saw these sitting up top. The brand new sealed. Looks like a like on an easel. And it says cocktails. So I'm not sure if maybe this is meant for like a restaurant that has drinks of the day or something. But they're only asking 99 cents. So I'm thinking that maybe I could put this in my booth for like five or ten bucks. I don't know. I ran the comps, I couldn't find any, but that doesn't mean anything. Sometimes you just take a chance on something like that. Here's another good example on looking for new sealed items. This one is a puzzle. Art collection, 540. They want $3. And I'm running the comps and it looks like I'll get probably around 20 bucks. Brand new sealed, easy shipper. So I always take a peek at the entryway to see if there's any room. I look for the jewelry bags um, and I always let Tanya know if they have any. They don't have any here, sometimes they do. And kind of check out what they got for 
rings or watches. I don't know if y'all can see through there. Sometimes I look for, it's a brand called Swatch. It's a vintage watch. Uh, it's kind of like a plastic looking. And there are some very good, like if that was a Swatch, I'd be all over it. seen much now those shoes are brand new and the brand is called inch two or inch squared and they're asking $75 on those shoes uh, the comps are pretty good so I'm gonna let y'all know about these I'm not gonna buy them because 75 is kind of risky for me and I don't know how long it'll take for me to sell them but their comps are anywhere between 125 to like $200 for those things and they're asking 75. So if they're still here when I come back on a discount day, I'll buy them. But for right now, I'll leave them alone. So I always make sure I check out the linen aisle. So I'm looking for vintage like cartoons, like old um, Pokemon or like Transformers old stuff that you had as a kid because that's nostalgia and some of those vintage sets from like the 70s 80s 90s can sell for a lot of money but I wanted to show you all these these are all like knitted like um, soccer related items and don't ignore soccer items because if you all think about it What's the number one sport in the world? Don't think of just the United States, think of the world. Some of the highest paid athletes in the world are soccer players. You can Google it. There is a big following for soccer, especially if you want to ship international. And look at there, there's one with a tag on it still. So let's, I'm gonna take all of them and I'm gonna run the comps and let's see what they are worth. All right, so I just got out of there. My battery started going bad. So that's another thing that y'all should keep in mind when you um, go out thrifting or go to uh, thrift stores, garage sales, whatever, is make sure you have enough battery on your phone because that's like a rookie mistake and I feel stupid because I can't film in there and I can't run comps and I can't continue draining my battery. Um, I have to take priority on running the comps instead of filming for you guys. So. I did miss out a few things that I should have filmed, uh, but overall, I think I did pretty good. Quick drive by, I spent like 60 bucks in there, and I ended up uh, getting some pretty good comps on just those soccer scarves, and they were in really good shape. So uh, don't overlook soccer scarves. There's a big market. There's a it's a big industry. A lot of money being spent on that. So uh, that's about all I got for this one. Thanks to everybody that's watching. Um, Y'all probably saw the drawing. Um, that was pretty exciting. A lot of people that were excited to win, sending me their information so I can ship all the prizes out. There were seven winners. If you look at the previous video, a lot of repeat viewers that won, so I'm excited for them. And if you like this type of content, please like, subscribe, all that type of good stuff, and share it with your friends. And until next time, see you guys later. Bye.